warning everybody for your safety to get up down on the floor please because straight on the beach. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to welcome everyone to the formal launching of the new solar system on Aoid Island, which was completed in February 2014. Well this solar project is, is about, uh, about making life easier on the island. The sun comes up every, every morning and luckily nowadays there's very good technology that's become uh, available, that's sufficiently rustic and, and sufficiently inexpensive that with a, with a grant uh, originally from uh, the Australian High Commission and uh, a second uh, follow-up grant uh, from the Small Grants Program of UNDP, uh, we've been, been able to put together a, a very appropriate size system for, for the island. The Australian High Commission has partnered with the Island Conservation Society and also uh, the UNDP and an Australian-based company, WHL Limited, in uh, sponsoring um, the uh, development of solar energy as a sustainable um, energy source for the island uh, in order to provide electricity for the homes of the rangers here, uh, for the, the needs of the um, uh, various activities that go on on the island, uh, supporting conservation here on our Reed Island and most importantly of all um, to ensure that the pristine environment of Arid Island uh, as a showcase for nature conservation in the Seychelles can be preserved and we think that solar energy um, from the solar panels that we've helped to finance is a way of ensuring sustainability and environmental conservation here on Arid Island. It's a small project uh, for a small island uh, but it serves as a good example of, of uh, what such a system can and, and might look like. It's one of our focal area mitigating climate change and uh, using solar energy is, is, is something just uh, fantastic that uh, will help uh, the country mitigate it, its share of climate change. Any island that installs solar power using similar systems will save the money they invest in that system within two to three years and then have 20 years of free energy and green energy. The three systems that I have designed and installed are saving approximately 60 tonnes of CO2 emissions per year. And so over a 20 year life span, this is a lot of CO2. This is a lot of climate change mitigation. Hopefully Seychelles will in increasingly adopt this type of technology because it is the perfect type of technology, uh, it's a perfect application. Uh, for Seychelles, uh, which is, you know, doesn't produce its own oil and still does use uh, a lot of uh, things that require electricity. So uh, we, we hope that through uh, implementing this project with our partners, we'll inspire others to do likewise. 